What's going on guys? It's Dog 20 here. Today, I'm going to be taking apart a uh, Asus, or uh, Asus, rather, uh, laptop. Um, the model on this current laptop is, as you'll see, actually I don't want to zoom in, there might be something important there. Um, it's F553M. And it came with, oh god, I just plopped it on my knee. It came with uh, Windows 8. I recently upgraded it to uh, Windows 10 because uh, Windows 8 is terrible, at least in my opinion. But um, the reason I'm making this uh, video of taking this apart is because I did take it apart recently um, because I'm trying to install a, uh, uh, install a, uh, it's like an, called an external graphics dock and when you install them on uh, laptops to give it more um, video card um, memory and capabilities um, you need to take it apart and get to the PCI Express slot on the inside now I realized that this this laptop, the way it gets taken apart, is very, very different than any other laptop I've taken apart. I've taken apart quite a few of them, and, uh, well, this one's very different, we'll just say that. Um, and then the main reason off the bat for that is most laptops have parts on the bottom here. You take screws out, which I'll be doing, you know, there's a bunch of screws on the sides, um, I'll, uh, I'll actually skip that part in the video, I'll just take them out and then uh, go to the next part. But usually you take those out and then the back comes up and uh, you just go from there. But with this guy, the front comes up and I really don't like that and it's very tricky and you have to be really careful. So without further ado, real quick, um, you gotta take a, there's gonna be a corner screw here, uh, another screw right here, here here, 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 and here. There's no screws hidden in the middle under any stickers or anything like that. You don't have to worry about even under these little, little. sometimes they hide them under there, the little um, uh, rubber stand things. Um, yeah, so you just take out all the corners. I'm going to do that real quick and then uh, cut the video and come back. Alrighty guys, so... Um, one thing to note, I did just take all the screws out, like I said, um, all of the front screws, one, two, three, and four up there, Those, just those front screws are smaller screws, um, all of the ones that are the, the two side ones here, and then down low, all those other screws are a little bit longer, so you don't get them mixed up, um, so that's just uh, something to note. Um, also, um, if I haven't already, I apologize for the way I'm filming. I only got two hands and one of them's got to hold the camera. Um, what you're going to need is um, a Phillips head screwdriver, real tiny, to get the screws out. And then you're going to need, um, mine's a two-in-one, but if you don't have a two-in-one, you're going to need a flat head, real, real kind of small like this one, to do the next part, which is to take apart the actual uh, laptop. So now that we've taken all the screws out, we're going to come and open it up. Okay, so another thing that's a little abnormal about this is normally when you take apart a computer like a laptop or even a desktop, always turn the power off and if it's a laptop you unplug the battery immediately. Now, can't do that yet because it's all internal. Which I'll show you in a bit once we get this all taken apart here. All right. Now, what I did last time, and I'm gonna do again this time, is I started at the top here. All the way around, there's these little snaps. And you have to get your screwdriver and put it right in the corner here. And find this snap. There it is. Snap one. And 
then you just slowly should just move it around. Uh, I'm gonna get it under there. there. There we go. Okay, lift it up just a tiny bit, and then you got it from the side here. tricky with one hand. <laughs> Just keep doing the sides and keep moving down. Another snap. Snap, snap, snap. And now we're all the way in the front. Just lift it up, snap, and snap. These snaps are not too bad compared to some that you'll work with on some computers, especially on the internal when they put the snaps in there. Sometimes they're they're really bad, and even when you get right into it all the way. You can even end up working <clears throat> with glued stuff sometimes, so that's the trouble with laptops. Even professionals don't like to take them apart because it's so easy to break things. All right, so now it's just up front. That right here is stuck. I'm gonna need two hands for this part. One second. So no big deal. Now you can lift lift this right up, and you got two ribbon cables, as you can see right there. So this is kind of interesting. Um, obviously, when it comes to ribbon cables, you got to be kind of careful um, and not rip them or break them. These are actually attached to those little white things. They actually lift up, which again I'll need two hands for. So one second again. Okay, so you guys can even see better. Um, all right, you see this little thing right here? It goes down and lift right back up. So basically you just lift it up, pull the ribbon cable out, and uh, when you put it back you're just gonna slide the ribbon cable in under there and push it down. And it's the same thing with this one. You gotta be real careful not to pull like upward on it or anything. Gotta remember that. And that's kind of an unusual thing anyway. So now here is the battery. The battery's all right in here. This is another really unusual sort of clip. Um, I didn't really fully know what to do with it first, but actually all you're going to do is you you got, the, got this metal part right here. You're going to push it out like that. Comes in handy having nails like that to do that. Um, and then this actually just comes right up. Um, I'm gonna, not going to use my nail for that. There you go. Just pulled that right up. So just like that lifts right up and now the battery's off and that's basically the most important thing so you don't end up having power go into the board still and you don't shock yourself now right here is the hard drive um, so if you want to remove your hard drive and, and that's why you're watching this video you need to replace the hard drive you need to do some maintenance um, basically you're gonna have screw here 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 and here come that take those right out then you're gonna push this up because it's it's slid into this connector right here. Slide it out, comes right out, and then you'll have screws on the side of these metal panels if you need to take this uh, this metal casing off. And then of course you have your CD drive right here, real obvious. Um, 
I haven't actually take, take, um, taken this out yet, but there is a screw right here. Um, there's some little screws. I don't know if we need to remove those or not, but it might just be this screw right here. Either way. Um, so yeah, I'm actually looking for the PCI E slot. Um, so I'm going to take a quick look at that. I just wanted to show you guys that portion of the video because like I said, the snaps, um, there's tons of little snaps as you heard and as you saw. Um, and there's the ribbon cables. So just do it as I showed you and you won't break it or anything like that. It just goes right back on top after you slide the ribbon cables back in, of course. Push it down like I showed you. You know you're going to put the ribbon cable, slide it right back in there. Push that back down, it holds it in place. And then just put it on around the corners. It, it'll snap back down all the way around. And uh, then you just screw the screws back in um, and you're good to go. So, hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, drop a like, um, comment in the comment section below if you guys have any questions, and um, subscribe if you haven't already for more how-to videos, gaming videos, uh, and well, all around different types of videos. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.